to our first Bullet Proof UK Facebook Live. Um, we want to start connecting with you guys a little more. It's awesome that you all follow us and we super appreciate that. And we love seeing you at all of the events we go to. Um, but we wanted to take some time to show you some of the awesome stuff that we do and things that you perhaps might not know about. Um, obviously biohacking is huge in the US and I think sometimes people don't realise that we actually have a lot more awesome stuff here than we do. So we are going to start this series of Facebook Lives to show you some of the cool stuff that we do um, and that's available for you to have a go with. So today, for our first one, we are at London's first hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Um, we've brought along our ambassador Tony, who's done this quite a few times now, so he'll be able to give you some info about how awesome it is. Tim, who um, owns the chamber, and Dr. Rock, who knows all of the technical information and will be able to answer any questions that you've got. So, we'll pass it to Tony, yeah. talk about his experiences, and we'll find out a bit more about why Tim has brought this to us here. I just want to point out, I'm not actually just like checking my emails right now, but I'm going to look <laughs> at your comments, so if you want to comment or ask any questions to the expert, then that'd be great. Um, yeah, it's very exciting to be live. We've, we've already tried the selfie stick and it didn't quite work, so we've got Catherine holding the, holding the camera. And I personally have absolutely loved it, but let's ask the experts. Um, Dr. Rob, let's ask you first, because you are one of the kind of world's premier experts, aren't you, um, in hyperbaric oxygen. Um, why is it so great, and what actually happens when we get in this tank, which is, which is the big tank here? I think the, the most important thing is, <clears throat> without oxygen, we wouldn't be here talking. Um, so without oxygen, the body dies very, very quickly. The brain cells within minutes is gone. Any accidents at all, uh, at birth, drowning, whatever. So it's oh, wait, don't bring the mood down too much. <laughs> 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 Just the importance of oxygen. Um, but over the years, um, the treatment of hyperbaric oxygen has developed. It started off probably with the divers who had uh, the bends, uh, where they had the air gas uh, embolisms and so on. The hyperbaric chamber was a way of saving those lives. <clears throat> From that it developed, um, if it could heal uh, brain trauma in a drowning accident, why can't it do something for stroke patients? Why can't mm -hmm. it do something for autism? And uh, this got me very, very much involved in hyperbaric medicine, and I started looking at the possibility of using hyperbaric oxygen uh, for stroke rehabilitation, uh, for autism, for cerebral palsy, and in some aspects, uh, MS. And they found some quite amazing That's results. Amazing, isn't it? From there, we then developed on and looked at cancers, and it's now been proved uh, clinically that cancer tumours thrive in a low oxygen environment. Mm. So when we put them into the chamber, um, a few things happen. First of all, the area where the tumours are, there's a lot of edema, a lot of swelling, which stops the, the, the oxygen getting to that area of the body. And amazingly, the cancer cells love that situation. And so they, they spread and they look for food around the body and they go to and so on. And when you give them hyperbaric oxygen, they seem to just put a, a halt in. We've got some amazing MRI scans proving this. Um, right, Dr. Rob, I'm going to stop yeah, you there because yeah. I'm going to bring in Tim as well. So Tim, basically, is not just for people with cancer, is it? Because also, it's just for people like us, if we want more energy, which is what we found when we went in it. Yeah. And you, we've got quite a similar story where we both kind of got very ill, didn't we? Separate points. And you found that hyperbaric oxygen was the thing that sorted it out more than anything else. Mm -hmm. So you started a business with, a, with an oxygen tank. <laughs> I did, I did. Um, really, I heard Dave mention it, Dave Asprey mention it um, on a podcast uh, to try hyperbaric. And I'd heard a few people at the convention, there's been you know, quite a lot of people have been queuing up trying to have a session. So I looked into it and my, I'd had uh, adrenal fatigue, chronic fatigue for quite some time, along with mercury toxicity, and I tried everything to, to fix it. And really, my brain was still a bit foggy, which is quite a common thing, I guess, in the biohacking circles. And um, I tried hyperbaric once, which is outside of London, a bit of a commute. Decided to do it twice a week because my energy and my brain came back online. Right, so you were going, how did you feel afterwards? Amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. The first time I was tired, because it was like my body was suddenly being fed with something that it was missing. Um, and then after that, my energy was just on back to normal, like 100%. I'd say it's a little bit like a quadruple espresso <laughs> without the jitters. It is a little bit like yeah, that, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It lasts much longer than espresso. Like for me, the first time it was like 
two days. Mm. Yeah. 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 And I mean, I, I, it, because the brain uses 20% of the oxygen, uh, your oxygen basically, the first place to be starved is pretty much your brain. So therefore, you get foggy brain, which is why some days you can't figure things out, but other yeah. days you can. Everyone's familiar with that. Um, and I just I couldn't be commuting. I was busy, busy work life, and like a lot of biohackers, very like yeah. peak within the business or mm -hmm. very reactive. So um, I said to Dr. Rob, I had to open up a clinic in London. Um, I've got to make this happen ASAP. So we built the business. You got your own one? Yeah, in six weeks. And Brilliant. The clinic, yeah. And, and here we are. Yeah, Chelsea Bridge, Bridge Clinic is very central, very easy to get to. If you want to come down and have a look. Do you want to, Catherine, maybe you can do a bit of ni nifty camera work <laughs> and just get Tim, Tim and Rob, if we get to just show us the tank. Yes. Show us, just give us a little, okay. show us what goes on. Feel free to climb in if you want, Dr. Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> show us what's going on. Right, the patient comes in, uh, they lie down very comfortably in the chamber. The experience of the patients is very relaxing, very calming, it's not claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. um, we connect a mask uh, for them to breathe the oxygen and they get 97.7 uh, parts matter medical oxygen, very good medical oxygen. And under pressure, um, the door closes then, or we then fire up the unit and it's then pressurised with yeah, it feels like being on a plane, doesn't that's, it, with your ears? Exactly. But what actually happens there is that it then allows the oxygen wizard and gas to dissolve in the blood, uh, into the body fluids, into uh, the hemoglobin, into the plasma, into the lymph fluids. Mm. So your whole body is saturated with oxygen. That includes the parts of your body that hasn't got a lack of oxygen, but especially in the parts of your body that has got no oxygen in the environment, um, so, so it, it increases red blood cell count, it increases the white blood cell count, and so this is why you've got the healing effect and also the energy effect. Right. Amanda, something I was wondering is, when when you go in there and you get the oxygen tank on, and you, you, so you've got the mask which you've got on, and then you shut the door, why, why do you need both the oxygen? Why don't you just sit there with the mask on? Or just sit there in the tank and then have all the... What's the, what's the, what's the point of the tank as well as the mask? Well, I get this well, one if I may. Right, okay, yeah, right. So, I mean, I, I, from, from a layman's point of view, I think that if you have oxygen in normal atmospheric pressure, um, you um, dissolve a little bit into your blood, which is why you get dizzy um, and your body can't use it all. When you're in, at the, on the, in the hyperbaric chamber under pressure at certain different levels, different amounts of it absorb in your blood. So therefore you don't get dizzy when you're having the oxygen like you would do when you're in a normal hospital. So if, to put it to the example, which is a, one I always use, is that if you have a tablespoon full of sugar and you put it in a glass of cold water, some of it will dissolve. So if you warm that water up, all of it will dissolve. And oxygen is like that under pressure. Not all of it dissolves into mm. your blood through your lungs. When you're under pressure, it does. So therefore your body gets flooded with oxygen um, and your cells use it, opposed to in normal atmospheric air, um, it's 15 times more oxygen, I think, I'm right in saying, isn't it? So therefore your body is fueled, um, so your brain comes back online, your energy shoots up, and your body becomes far more efficient. Um, mm -hmm. I want to get in there now. <laughs> <laughs> you do feel incredible after yeah. the break. Yeah, it's quite nice. You've got the reassuring sight of Dr. Rob out here in case you feel <laughs> a little bit nervous the first time you go in. And there is a little panic button inside, so you can't get like yeah. scared. But nobody ever panics no. because you know I'm here, um, I can see the patient, and it's it's very wide and open. They they, they don't have any fear at all. And I normally yeah. fall asleep to be fair. Yes. It's very cozy. And it's nice. Right. You can you, you can do your emails or something. Yeah. There, or you can you use headspace and uh, uh, mm -hmm. just chill out and all um, yeah. listen to music. Look at Catherine with the camera work. I know. This is just it's unbelievable. Like living at night. <laughs> 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 As Tim was saying, you know, you know, just the fact that the oxygen dissolves in the blood. Um, to a great amount, like problem wounds, just you know, yeah. they heal very quickly. Mm -hmm. Diabetic leg ulcers, which is across the world fortunes in trying mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. uh, heal them, it, it does heal them. I've seen uh, over in uh, Yugoslavia or Serbia where we would be amputating legs here, um, they would put the oxygen chamber and save the limbs. Just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, some of, and some of the things on cancer. Um, I've got some good stuff on the computer. I can actually show you something if you want me to show you. Well, unfortunately, Rob, we don't. We can yeah. probably spend hours at your yeah, computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's a woman who had a, a tumor.
tumour in the femur, and within a period of five months, it reduced its size, it's one quarter of the size now. She'd not had chemotherapy or radiotherapy, only she'd had oxygen, and just done that to the tumour. So, Amazing. You've so, had some good results with some fertility cases as well, haven't you? Yes, yes. Um, this is something that uh, I knew that they were doing this over in China, and they were doing it in Italy, and we had the opportunity to try, um, these were uh, three women who all had, were on the fourth set of uh, IVF, mm -hmm. um, every time it failed, and so we took them on and we gave them the hyperbaric oxygen, I gave them at um, 1.5 uh, bar pressure, and we had 20 sessions each, and all three women, and I'm pregnant, and all the babies, and my wow. partner said, uh, imagine making three women pregnant. And I they're excited. It's, an, it's a big breakthrough, and now we're looking up with Harley Street. Uh, so that's, that's really proper good. biohacking, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I know you're keen yeah. with this series of videos yeah. to kind of focus on biohacking. Yeah. How, because biohacking, one of the things is like you know, upgrading. You might be at a kind of 98% already and taking it to 100%. Mm -hmm. And when you look at something like fertility, that's awesome, isn't it? It's incredible. It's really, I mean, it's really key. I mean, it's for, for, to be optimal, yeah, it's very much helped. It's really good. We've, we've helped a lot of people, helped sick people actually. Um, but for the biohacking community, which is why I originally founded it, yeah. I guess, but it's really nice to help people that are actually sick, but for people that just want to be optimal, it's perfect, yeah. absolutely perfect. For what biohacking. are the dangers? Um, there must be, yeah. People must be watching big yeah. saying, why should I be scared? I, I, I'm a bit scared of getting in there. Um, do you want me to ask that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. First of all, I always check the, the patient's ears. Right, yeah. make sure that ears are I clear. have that issue because my yeah. ears okay. get really bad, so you okay. always go really slow. So, so I've got to make sure that you can equalise the ears, just like sitting in an aircraft, you've got to get mm -hmm. rid of the pressure. If the patient can't do it, I can do it externally. So that, that is the main thing, is looking after the ears. Yeah. There are certain times that we can treat if they've had a collapsed uh, lung previous, or they've had a perforated eardrum, then these are contraindications we cannot treat that type of person unless we know that there is total healing of the lung and mm -hmm. healing of the ears. And so they, but they, apart from that, it's very safe. It's very safe. safe. It's very safe. safe. I, I, I would say that the, the biggest thing that I get back is moving their ears around a little bit tender for a day. Mm -hmm. Just one from there, I've just after an yeah. I mean, my first time was like that. It was popping. I was a bit paranoid in, in all honesty. It's not like, that. like when you do any bio yeah. like the first time you do it, yeah. you're like, what's going to happen to my yeah. body here? Yeah. But yeah. Um, after that, I haven't really had it ever since. And I think for me, the, the only thing that's the downside is that you want to be here more because <laughs> yeah. you feel better. Or well, maybe it. it takes a while because you have to be in the chamber for an hour, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you could do it in five minutes, that would be slightly better. But, you know, it's nice. You can calm, you can chill out, easy mouth, a little smooth. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's quite addictive actually because you do feel yeah. so good from it, as you guys know. I mean, it's you really do. Like, quite even, espresso. <laughs> <laughs> even if you don't have an issue that you need to fix, it just gives you like yeah. a crap load of energy and you feel amazing. I did it, I had a, a Spanish, I was doing a Spanish class when I first tried it and I went to my Spanish class afterwards and I was just like remembering everything so much easier and like coming out with anything, felt a lot more confident as well. Mm. So yeah, it's awesome. Well, we've had loads of people watching, and I know loads more people watching the replay. It's um, it's it's brilliant to be able to bring this to more people. Yeah. Um, we've got we've got a, a, a live event, my podcast coming soon, and you guys are going to be there as well. Aren't we? Dr. Robert, I don't know if you know about that yet, but you'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be there. We'll put all the information about the um, the location and everything else on the website as well. We've got a good offer as well for the bulletproof people if you want to come along and try it. So we'll put all of that on the Facebook page for you. Yeah. So you can find out more information about it. Um, but yeah, it's awesome and we love it, which is why we're telling you about it. Yeah, and it's, it's funny how we've all become friends because actually you're so into bulletproof anyway, weren't you? Yeah. Get the bulletproof group peeped in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we done? Are we good? Awesome. Good, okay. Thank Thanks you very much time. indeed. Thanks so much, Dr. Robin and Tim. Um, and uh, yeah, well, we'll do, do more of these. Yeah, we've got loads yeah. of other awesome things that we'd love to do that we're going to introduce you to. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.